Well, we had the uh, Steve Austin appearance at WrestleMania last year where uh, he wrestled Kevin Owens. And all things considered, I thought that the match was excellent. I thought he looked great. I thought for a guy that had been out of action, as long as he'd been out of action, they had a very smart, fun, good match. Yeah, he'd been out for um, almost 20 years, right? Yep, 19 yep. years, something like that, yeah. And I thought, years, man, years. what a way to go out, I thought. You came back, you did it, it was great. What a, what a, what an end to this story. And now it's looking like that might not be the end of hey, this Hey, it's story. all hands on deck. They got, they got two nights of WrestleMania, and there's big money matches that he can do. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Um, there's, there's, I mean, I don't know what the legalities would be for Punk, but I think actually that's the biggest money of all the matches that he could do uh, because Punk coming back to WWE would be big. But there's the injury. Punk might be able to make it for, you know, to WrestleMania for, with, with the torn triceps. The I mean, everyone's healing is different. I kind of pegged late March. WrestleMania is, you know, um, right like a week after that. So it's that's a real touch and go. But um, and then and then there's a legal issue, you know, in the sense of I was going to say this is the first name that you came up with of all of these names was CM Punk. Do you know something that we don't know? Um, yeah, I think about money and I think about what's the match that would draw the most money, and the match that would draw the most money for Steve Austin would be CM Punk. I think the second match that would draw the most money would be John Cena, and that could that could happen too. Battle of Generations. Um, there's Lesnar that could be something those would be the three um but uh you know like that if you're looking for the match that's gonna shake up the business the punk match is the one but i don't know that punk will have a release you know there's just a lot of issues there but um when i'm just looking at it i mean it's like i can't come up with if i'm if i'm paul levesque and i'm looking for the match that's going to draw the most money at wrestlemania this year i mean you could say roman and the rock but i'm pretty you know I think that uh, Austin and Punk would be right with them, and it doesn't matter because there's two days, and you headline one of them with one and the other day with the other, and you've got two big matches that will be the two most watched uh, WrestleManias of all time, which this, this year will be anyway. I mean, even if there's no Rock and even if there's no Austin, it's going to be the most watched WrestleMania just because of the low price of entry and, um, you know, Peacock having so many more subscribers this year than they had last year. It's a big, big increase, 60%. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna be up. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Who do you think Who do you think is the most money, the best match to do? I don't know what the best match in the ring. I mean, you could pick other matches in the ring that would be better, but WrestleMania is about drawing. And well, I think the biggest match, which I would not expect to happen, would be another Rock versus Austin match. As far as I don't like, think that would be as big. It's been done three times. It has, but it's been forever. Yeah, but the I last mean, I time guess, they did that match was 2003. It was 20 years ago they did that match. Yeah, but it's not a new match. These other matches are new. Plus, you got Rock with Roman. If Rock's going to wrestle, he's going to wrestle Roman Reigns, which is a new match. I don't think Rock. The problem with Rock and Austin also is you got two 50 plus year old guys there. And um, it's a match that would have a lot of difficulty living up to the matches they had before. And I don't think either of them really want to do that. Um, you know, Rock and I mean, if Rock's going to wrestle, it's going to be Roman Reigns, um, you know. And uh, if Austin's going to wrestle, I don't know who it would be. Um, I mean, they could put someone on the on the roster in it. But, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's an, you know, like the, the biggest star on the roster who's in Roman Reigns is Bray Wyatt. And I really don't want to see that because no. I think that match will suck. Well, the uh, thing, too, is the way the way they've conditioned their, their audience. I mean, it doesn't matter who you have on the roster. If it is a non-roster person, they're going to see that match as a bigger deal, whether yeah. that's CM Punk or whoever it is from the outside. I mean, you, that's you, the way they've been conditioned. Uh, Steve Austin versus you, you, somebody you, you, who's not on the roster you could, you is going to be do, bigger than anybody on the roster. You could even do Bill Goldberg. But Bill, uh, Bill Goldberg, to me, because he's been back so many times, I don't think it's as, it's, it's as big as, as Cena would be. I don't think, and it's definitely not going to be as big as uh, Punk would be. Because Punk's return to WWE would be big if they could do it. And, uh, you know, there's a big question. Do they want to do it? I mean, I know people in WWE who absolutely do not want him there but they are not the people 
um you know on the on the creative team you know it's like hey you know they know everyone knows what happened in AEW it's like do we really want that do we need that no we don't need that we don't really want that but at the end of the day it's not their decision it's the decision of Nick Khan and Stephanie and and Paul and um you know I mean and, and they you know Paul may may just go in there and go hey look look what happened we don't need it you know and they don't they don't need it and he may just do that but um you know, if it was Vince, Vince would do it. Um, I, I think if, with that kind of money at stake, um, which is funny because Vince, you know, there was that 20 year period. They could have done this Austin and Punk thing in 2011. They could have done Austin and Cena many, many different times. And it was just like Austin's done. He's not going to ever wrestle again. And then he wrestled and he, you know, I remember he did the, the one the one time with the Miz where he came in and did the stunner and he got hurt. And it's like, geez, he's just coming in and getting to do a stunner and getting hurt. He probably shouldn't be doing this. They needed the whole match with, uh, you know, with all, with Kevin Owens, and he was fine. And so I'm sure that emboldens him. And he's in great shape. I saw a, a video of him working out. He looks great. Um, you know, I mean, it's not like it's a done deal. But I do know for sure that there is interest and discussions in what is going on. Um, as far as the opponents and everything like that, I don't know what ideas that they have. I'm just looking at the ideas that would draw the most, and those are the ideas that would draw I the totally most. I totally forgot this story until just now, and it happened when I was a kid, and so I think there's a decent chance that it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so, like, I was chopping the tree, and uh, I just remember looking up, and all of a sudden, like, this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down, and all of a sudden I was like, I woke up later. This is the weird thing he says. Yeah, it is. well, it is weird. Lot weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah. That's weird. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.